Good day learners! Are you ready to have fun with math? How do you feel today? I hope you are all okay. I am your teacher Anne and let's make learning more fun. Before we start, here are some reminders to keep in mind. Number 1. Stay alert and focus the video lesson. Number 2. Prepare your pen and paper for your answer sheets. Number 3. Sit back and relax as you enjoy our learning for today. Good day learners! Get ready to listen and try to be focused and be at its best. In today's episode, we will be proving Pythagorean Theorem. Now, we are going to investigate one of the most famous theorem in plane geometry, Pythagorean Theorem. This theorem, named after the Greek mathematician Pythagoras, this theorem was proved by him and the Pythagoreans who are the followers of Pythagoras. So, if your favorite Katnyal love team has Katnyals as their followers, Greek mathematician Pythagoras' followers are called Pythagoreans. At the present, there are about 300 known proofs of the Pythagorean theorem. And today, we will prove one. The Pythagorean theorem states that the square of the hypotenuse of a right triangle is equal to the sum of the squares of the legs. Again, the square of the hypotenuse of a right triangle is equal to the sum of the squares of the legs. Please observe the right triangle, CBA. Let us also name the sides of the triangle by its segment. Again, Pythagorean theorem states that the square of the hypotenuse of a right triangle is equal to the sum of the squares of the legs. Given side CA is the hypotenuse, which is the longest side of a right triangle, and side BA and side CB are the legs. Therefore, side CA squared is equal to side BA squared plus side CB squared, or side BA squared plus side CB squared is equal to side CA squared. Prove that segment CA squared is equal to segment BA squared plus segment CB squared. To do so, let us start by constructing an altitude BM. We have now three right triangles, triangle CBA, triangle CBM, and triangle MBA. First, Describe triangle CBA, triangle CBM, and triangle MBA. With the altitude BM is drawn to its hypotenuse. Therefore, it will be proved by using the right triangle similarity theorem. Meaning, the three right triangles are similar. Next is write the proportions including the geometric means of the legs. Let us get the proportion of triangle AMB and triangle CBA. Let us determine the corresponding sides of the legs. The first one is side CA. We have side CA is to side BA. How about the side in the second triangle? Again, the first one is side CA. How about the side in the second triangle? Very good! Side AM. So we have side BA is to side AM. Or we will have side CA is to side BA is equal to side BA is to side AM. Next, let us get the proportion of triangle BMC and triangle CBA. Let us determine the corresponding sides of the two triangles. The first one is side CA. So, we have side CA is to side CB. How about the other one? Again, the first one is side CA. So we have side CA is to side CB. How about the other one? Exactly, we have side MC. Therefore, we have side CA is to side CB is equal to side CB is to side MC. The reason for this is special properties of right triangles. Then, cross multiply the terms of the proportions. What will be the statement? Again, what would be the statement? That is right. We will have BA squared is equal to 
the side of CA multiplied by the side of AM. And CB squared is equal to the side of CA multiplied by the side of CM. The reason is gross multiplication property proportions. The next hint is adding the two legs, then substitute. By common monomial factoring, the common monomial factor is side CA. So, we will have segment BA squared plus segment CB squared is equal to segment CA multiplied by the sum of segment BA and segment CM. Next, is substitute to its equivalent length in the figure by segment addition postulate. Then, for the last step, simplify the right side by product law of exponents. What is side CA times side CA? Again, what is side CA times side CA? Very good! The answer is CA is squared. Therefore, the statement will be segment CA is squared is equal to segment BA is squared plus segment CB is squared. Congratulations, dear students! You successfully proved the Pythagorean theorem. Just always remember the famous formula for it, which is C is squared is equal to A is squared plus B is squared, wherein C is the hypotenuse and A and B are the legs. Let us now proceed. This time, we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem to find the unknown side of the given triangle if two of its sides are given. For this given right triangle, the given sides are the legs and the missing side is the hypotenuse. What formula are we going to use to find for the unknown value? Again, what formula are we going to use to find for the unknown value? Exactly! In this case, we will use c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. By substituting the given values, what would be the resulting equation? Correct! We now have c squared is equal to 4 squared plus 6 squared. Get the square of 4 and 6. We now have c squared is equal to 16 plus 36. By simplifying the like terms, you will result to c squared is equal to 52. Square root both sides to eliminate the square of c. We will have a square root of c squared is equal to square root of 52. And then, perform the operation. Think of an factors of 52 wherein there is a perfect square number. So, we will have c is equal to square root of 4 multiplied by 13. And then, perform the operation. Therefore, the value of c is 2 square root of 13. Again, the value of C in the given triangle is 2 is square root of 13. Next is this given right triangle. We have given leg and hypotenuse. The leg measures 15 and the hypotenuse measures 21. This time, the leg is the missing side of the right triangle. Again, use the formula C is squared is equal to A is squared plus B is squared. What would be the next step? Again, what would be the next step? That is right. Substitute the given values. By substitution, you will result to the quantity of 21 squared is equal to the quantity of 15 squared plus b squared. Get the square of 21 and 15. We now have 441 is equal to 225 plus b squared. Then, we have to isolate the unknown side which is b squared to one side by addition property of equality. Then, get the sum of the right side of the equation. We get the answer, b squared is equal to 216. To get the value of b, we have to get the square root of both sides. We have the square root of b squared is equal to square root of 216. By doing so, we now have the factors of 216 which are 36 and 6 wherein 36 is a perfect square number. 
and then perform the operation and the final answer will be 6 square root of 6. Therefore, the measure of the one leg of the right triangle is 6 square root of 6. Again, our leg is 6 square root of 6. Let us have the third right triangle. In the given right triangle, the given sides are one of the legs and the hypotenuse. So, what is the missing value? Again, what is the missing value in the given right triangle? That is right, we will be solving for the value of one of the legs. Are we going to solve for the missing side again? Correct! By using the formula, c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. By substitution, substitute the value of c with 10 and the value of b with a. We now have the quantity of 10 squared is equal to a squared plus a squared. Then, by getting the square of 10 and 8, the result will be 100 is equal to a squared plus 64. Then, we have to isolate the unknown side, which is a squared, to one side by addition property of equality. Simplify the right side of the equation, you will result to a squared is equal to 36. Again, if we're going to simplify the right side of the equation, we will result to a squared is equal to 36. The square root both sides, we will have the square root of a squared is equal to square root of 36. And then, the answer will be a is equal to 6. Again, our answer for the given right triangle is 6. I hope you were able to calculate for the missing side of the right triangle by Pythagorean area. Before we end today's lesson, let us have a recap of what was discussed today. The Pythagorean theorem states that the square of the hypotenuse of a right triangle is equal to the sum of the squares of the legs. The hypotenuse is the longest side in a right triangle, while legs are the sides other than the one opposite the right angle or other than the hypotenuse. The formula for Pythagorean theorem is c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared where C is the hypotenuse, which is the longest side of a right triangle, and A and B are the length of the other two sides of a right triangle. So, we were able to apply our understanding about proving the Pythagorean theorem, and we were able to define it. Remember, the formula for Pythagorean theorem is C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. Calculate the unknown side of a right triangle, given the length of the two other sides. Well, that is for now. I hope you learned a lot today, and you will have more of this in the next video lesson. May you always have the joy of learning at home. Until next time, keep safe and God bless us all.